So, you're thinking of buying a new PC? But even thinking about buying it can be a daunting task. Right now, you might be on Windows 10. You may have had your PC for a few years now and it's starting to show its age. Add to that, support for Windows 10 will be ending in 2025. Now that seems like ages away, but it will creep up pretty fast. And then what? What's Windows 11 like? Is it easy and simple to use? What about the devices itself? There are so many PCs to choose from. How can you possibly get it down to just a few devices? Well, it's time we help answer those questions. In this video, we'll be looking at the Windows 11 Everyday PC and why they might be best for you. So let's get to it, shall we? Titles! Hello everyone, I'm Hannah from the Expert Zone UK and I team. And today we're talking about the everyday PCs in the Windows collections. If you're new to this channel or have no idea what Windows collections are, let's just give you a quick reminder. Windows collections are designed to divide up all the Windows 11 PCs out there, as let's face it, there are a lot of them. Having a lot of choice is great to be able to find the perfect PC solution for every person. But the sheer scale of choice can also be paralyzing. So by knowing the kind of PC you need, you can look at a collection of devices instead of absolutely everything, which makes things a little bit easier to digest. There are four Windows collections we like to talk about. Light use, everyday, performance, and high performance. Light use is for browsing, streaming, and early learning. The performance collection is for more demanding work and education use, especially if productivity apps are part of your daily grind. And high performance is for professional use, like video editing or animation, as well as high-end PC gaming. So, what about the everyday collection? Who is that actually for? An everyday PC is for casual use. You might have it lying around the house, ready to go through emails and plan trips, or it might also be used by the tiny little humans for their schoolwork. An everyday PC is very good value for money, with it sitting between roughly 300 and 650 pounds, while still having excellent performance to the basics and do them well. Everyday PCs are also a great option if you've been holding onto your Windows 10 PC for many years and think now is the time to invest in something new. Especially with Windows 10 end of support getting closer and closer, which is October 2025 to be precise. So that's your definition for you. But what does an everyday PC actually look like? Well, here are three examples for you to consider when looking for your own everyday PC. We'll kick things off with the Surface Laptop Go 2. This Windows 11 PC is made by Microsoft. The Surface Laptop Go 2 is the lightest Surface Laptop from that family of devices. With Intel Pentium Gold or an 11th gen Intel i5 and up to 13.5 hours of battery life. It has a 12.4 inch touchscreen with a great typing experience, HD webcam and a premium design with a rich choice of colours. All this in a device that starts from £529 and up. That makes it a great choice for people looking for a device that has enough performance for things like emails, streaming and planning, all packaged up into a premium feeling and looking device. The Surface Laptop Go is especially good for young students in high school or university that need a device for typing essays or just watching their favourite shows when they're relaxing in the evening. The full-size keyboard has fast, fluid key travel with the Pixel Sense touch display and its 3 by 2 aspect ratio, giving you more virtual screen real estate for getting things done. Or just kicking back and scrolling online. Plus, on select models, you get Windows Hello and One Touch Sign-In. With a scan of the fingerprint, you can get right back into whatever it was you were doing. No need to have to remember any of those pesky passwords. There's not much more I need to say really. It's a laptop that looks great, is easy to use, and so does what you need it to do. If that sounds good to you, you can go grab yourself a Surface Laptop Go to. See what I did there? Now, let's look at a HP model. The HP Pavilion brand has a few different models that you can look at. There are the X360 models, which are two-in-one devices. There's a 15-inch model, so you can have a bigger screen for viewing. But to keep things simple, we're gonna look at the HP Pavilion 14. As with great choice comes great fluctuations in cost. This device can come in a range of different specs with AMD and Intel variants. We won't dive too much into that though today. The important thing to know is that Pavilion laptops are designed for portable performance with design features aimed at streaming your favorite shows, whether you're at home, on the go, or in school. 
wouldn't recommend streaming in school though. The Full HD display gives you a clear picture with the laptop itself featuring dual speakers with audio by B&O. And if you do get the X360 variant, this means you can also flip the screen around for an even easier viewing experience. As for the battery, you can get a 50% charge in just 30 minutes, so you can keep things going even if you're short on time. The HP Pavilion is a great option if you're looking for a compact laptop that delivers on portability while powering everyday features like email, streaming, schoolwork and more. If you're looking for a laptop that has everything you need to get started in a simple but sleek design, Acer's got you covered with the Acer Aspire 3. With prices starting between £499 and £649 RRP, depending on the model, the Acer Aspire 3 is available with Intel 12th generation processors or AMD Ryzen 7000 series processors. Whatever version you go with, you'll have a device that's great for getting things done, be that productivity apps, emails or entertainment. The Aspire 3 has a sleek metal cover, which comes in a selection of vibrant colours, and it's also thin and light at just 1.6 kilograms in weight and 18.9 millimetres in thickness. It has a HD display which features Acer Blue Light Shield to lower levels of harmful blue light exposure when at your PC for long periods of time. You get a long-lasting battery support for the latest Wi-Fi standards and a full selection of ports as well. In short, the Acer Aspire 3 is exactly what it claims to be. Everything you need to get started in a simple and sleek design. So, those are just a few great examples of laptops we think that are a great choice when looking at the everyday collection. Remember, if you're in store, you can see devices like the ones we've mentioned and give them a bit of a test drive. Researching online is like watching this video. It's great, but you can learn a lot more from trying it out for yourself like how it will fit in your bag and how much it weighs when you pick it up. Once you're there though, what can you do with Windows 11? This is especially important if you're coming from Windows 10. How easy is Windows 11 to use? How can it save you time? Will you even like it? Well, here are a few features we think are great to try on everyday PCs. First, we should start at the beginning and talk about where you can get started. Literally, there's an app called Get Started which is pre-installed on new Windows 11 PCs. It's a great place to start if you're new to Windows 11 and just want a quick catch up on where everything is. With it, you can customize your experience and get tips that cover the basics of Windows 11. Things like creating folders in the start menu or how to use the new favorite selection in File Explorer. Once you're all set up, you can move on to the tips app, which is even more for you to learn and explore in your own time. Another great app is to try the Photos app. This is especially good to know if you're an iPhone user. With the Photos app, you can now log into your iCloud account. So not only can you see all the photos from your various folders on your PC and in OneDrive, but you can also see your photos and videos from iCloud, making it easier than ever to keep everything in one place. One thing that might be different for you moving from a Windows 10 PC is the snipping tool. On Windows 11, snipping tool is better than ever. As always, you can take a full screen screenshot or just copy a section of the screen. One of the latest additions, if you're on the latest Windows 11 update, is you can now screen record using Snipping Tool too. Not only that, you can screen record a specific section of the screen. So if you want to get creative with your homework or just send someone a screen recording of your latest PowerPoint, it's now even easier to do so. The last thing we'll show off is Windows security. If you're moving to a new Windows PC, it's important to know your files and account and general PC health is secure. Windows security is pre-installed on a Windows 11 device, giving you antivirus and firewall protection, enhanced protection from untrusted apps and device security for the hardware itself. So you know that the moment you turn on your Windows 11 PC for the first time, you're protected. So there you have it. If you need a bit of a recap, here it is. The Windows Everyday PC is a PC designed for casual use. Maybe you need a family device that everyone can access for emails, browsing or streaming. Or you need a PC that can be used for a high school education. Whatever you need it for, an Everyday PC is a great value option if you need a device that can do the basics in a sleek device that's going to last. Remember what we said earlier as well. If you can, make sure you go into store and test drive on an Everyday PC. There's no better way of knowing if it's right for you than getting it in your hands. 
And if you're considering moving away from Windows 10 and trying out Windows 11 for the first time, remember there are a lot of new features that can make navigating Windows easier than ever. Windows 11 itself has the highest satisfaction rating of any Windows ever, so there has never been a better time to make the jump to something new. That's all from me though. We have one more collection to talk about, which is light use. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. I've been Hannah. You've been watching Expert Zone and see you soon.